Okay, now that is the finish and touches on preparing my cucumber bed. I did decide to plant the, some cucumbers here. I like to uh, define my bed with the uh, with various stakes that I have laying around. So I have already I've already sown seed in this half of the bed. Uh, that's Boston pickling cucumbers, and on this other part, I will be putting straight straight eight cucumbers. Just evenly, as evenly as possible, distribute them, and that's all my seed. And then what I do, usually I use both hands, but I'm using my camera here. I just take my hand and just do like this, kind of grab and turn everything under, turn all these seeds under. These seeds wind up getting planted to various depths, of course, probably anywhere between a half and one and a half inches, but uh, it's all good. So I'll just turn them under, turn them under, turn them under. Spread the dirt back out. Just keep uh, rubbing the top of the soil here and every time I see one I push it down. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to my second knuckle there. So that's uh, a little over an inch probably. But by the time I do this it's probably a little less than an inch. So as you can see I don't get like too, too technical about it. on this half of the bed where the straight eight cucumbers are I probably won't leave but like you no know, maybe seven or eight uh, plants seven or eight of the straight eight cucumbers and then uh, seven or eight of the uh, uh, Boston pickling cucumbers and as I say these are the straight eight the Boston pickling cucumbers are a smaller type of cucumber Okay, so that is my cucumbers right there. So that's about from one end to the other. That's probably probably 12 feet, maybe 13 feet. Okay, these two round mounds, well they're not really mounds anymore. Uh, I rototilled them up and this will be where the, uh, where the squash is going. Ultimately, there will only be two squash plants per per hill here is all that will all that will be here I'll put out probably I don't know probably 15 20 seeds per per hill here or something of that magnitude I guess and as usual I always like to define my space by a bunch of sticks drove in the ground Where's my hammer? I need a hammer. Oh crap, I don't tell these one of these. I need my hammer. Where the hell did I put my hammer? Caesar Babs or Carly stole my hammer. I think they did. There's my hammer. Right there. There we go. Okay. And this is a type of hammer, so in case you're not familiar, it's a dead blow hammer. It's got like a little sand or something, BBs, I don't know, it's got something inside it where it makes it a whole lot better for jobs such as this. Time to put the seeds out. And this is a straight neck squash. And I get these at a at a garden supply or a hardware store where it's not like pre-packaged they uh, they measure them out and weigh them and it's a whole lot cheaper like that than it is getting the uh, seed that's pre-packaged but anyway there's predominantly two kinds of squash uh, I mean it, most people plant it's uh, straight neck and crook neck around here and uh, well, I, I just much prefer much prefer the straight neck type of squash now this since I don't have as many seeds I won't be using the quite, quite as haphazard a method of putting the seeds out as I used on the uh, on the uh, cucumbers because I don't have as many seeds. So I, I'm just going to be putting these out on the ground and then I'll be uh, punching them in with my finger one by one by one rather than disturbing the the soil like what I was doing and I'll just do a small sample of that 
and you get the idea. All right, so uh, you get the general idea there, and there's what the, the two spots look like after I have drove most of my stakes in. We've already got cats rubbing up against them, don't we, Susie? Yeah, that's one reason they love the garden. What are we doing up here, Carly? Huh? Yeah? And there's Carly right there. Okay, so, so ends our garden odyssey for the day. Uh, this is, huh, this is uh, Friday, May, I don't know, what is it, May the 9th, maybe. And, of course, here's my tomatoes, which I uh, still going to be another week before I put them out there. Uh, not quite big enough yet, and uh, it'll be probably a few more days before I put the pepper out. This is where the pepper will be going. I've already got the ground all dug up here. I don't have it smoothed out yet. I prefer to leave it kind of rough until the day I plant. And actually one last thing. I showed this last year, but I like to, when I first plant something, to put just just a little bit of dusting of uh, grass uh, clippings on top of it. Because even though the soil seems, when you look at it here on the video, seems to be fairly uh, friable and loose, that's just because it's just been rototillered. It has a tendency, and I've amended this soil countless times with all manner of mulch and manure and everything else, and it's still very clotty and crusty on top whenever the sun shines on it. So, yeah, and just a little bit, the sun will still still go through this, and but for some, but it'll hold in just enough moisture to where it doesn't uh, where it doesn't get so crusty on top of the ground. And there is Susie has climbed up on the grapes. <laughs> How you gonna get down now, girl? Huh? Say, hey, little proud kitty. How you gonna get down? Say. I think you know how. Somehow or another. Hmm. <laughs> that was easy enough. You're a good little kitty. 